Good, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to St. Mark's. Welcome to everyone at home for our Cafe Church this morning when we're going to be thinking about Jesus and love. Uh, so, hopefully you'll have drinks and we've been wrestling with technology, so it's slightly rainy. So pretty, pretty much everything there. So let's, let's, let's get ourselves together and prepare ourselves for our worship this morning and say together, Almighty God, we offer you grateful thanks for this time of refreshment in the midst of our busy lives. May we, in the quiet and peace of this moment, lay before you ourselves, our hearts, our lives, to do with as you will. Take from us the cares and worries of our world and let us learn from the beauty we see around us to trust in your eternal goodness and strength. Be present among us now as we worship you. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall sing your praise. So we'll sing our first song, which is A New Commandment. reading today is from John chapter 13 verse 34 a new commandment I give you love one another as I have loved you so you must love one another thanks Anne so you know why we sung that song now what does it mean to love one another to love everyone what would the world look like if we did this? We love because God first loved us. Love comes in many forms and there are many different ways to show love. In fact, there are lots of different words for love in Greek. So if you look at the Greek translation of the Bible, you'll see lots of different words used. Eros, erotic love. Philia, more brotherly love. Storge, more of a sort of parent-child relationship. And agape. Agape, the unconditional love, uh, the word that sometimes gets translated as charity in the King James version, version of the Bible, so faith, hope and charity. Charity is caritas in the Latin or agape in Greek. So this command from Jesus is definitely about agape love and it's given by Jesus to his disciples at the Last Supper. It comes between Jude, Judas has just left to betray Jesus and Peter is saying that he will die for Jesus uh, and Peter's about to be told that he will disown Jesus when he gives us this command or well, disciples and us this command to love one another indeed communion the Eucharist is also known as the love feast from agape indeed 
jumping forward a little bit from, from where we are today, do you know why Maundy Thursday is called Maundy Thursday? The Latin for command is mandatum, mandate, where we get mandate from. So our, the reading we had today, if it were in Latin, so in Latin mass, would have started mandatum novum do vobis. And from mandatum, we get Maundy. So Maundy Thursday is all about this command. We are called to love each other, whoever that may be. We are called to love people who are different from us, who lead different lives and who have different opinions. What do we mean by loving one another? Well, Thomas Aquinas called it to will the good of another. From the very earliest days of Christianity, Christians urged each other to love one another, calling each other brother and sister, and they cared not only for each other, but society as a whole. They understood God's love in giving us Jesus, Jesus' love in giving his life for us, and all the ways in which Christians can reflect the love and light of God. So, we're going to have a short little activity today, because we've got a little activity now, and then a little prayer activity as well. So, uh, so we're, going to, we're going to break it up. Today, today's activity is just a simple pen and paper exercise. You can pass, pass pen and paper around, uh, and a bit of paper. There we go. So... So we're thinking, about, we're thinking about love and we're thinking about how grateful we are that <coughs> God loves us, that God gave us Jesus. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and play a, bit, a little bit of music. Um, have a think and write down three things to be thankful for. Something you like, maybe. Loved ones. Something good that's happening in your life. Take a moment to reflect on the good, on love. It's a good practice to reflect each day and think about how God is acting in your life. So let's do that now. Three, three good things to be thankful for.
All you need is love. Love is all around. Is of any splendid thing. Can't help falling in love. Love me do. I just call to say I love you. You can't hurry love. Can't buy me love. Crazy little thing called love. I will always love you. Dance me to the end of love. Between 1980 and 2000, the most popular word in pop lyrics was... Love. love. It's about number two or three now. Uh, love appears 232 times in the New Testament. It's one of the top 20 words. It's more common than sin, grace and holy. Jesus commanded us to love one another with the same love that he loves us with. That's a big ask. In 1991, there was a Brian Adams song spent 16 weeks at number one. Anyone remember what that was? Well, yeah, everything I do. I was at university at the time, and, and after a while, if anyone put it on the jukebox in the student bar, and I have a feeling I'm showing my age here, if anyone put it on the jukebox in the student bar, the bar manager would just skip the song and offer a refund if anyone was prepared to walk up to the bar <coughs> and get their refund. But it, include, it doesn't, doesn't actually use the word love very much, but it does include the lyrics, take me as I am, take my life, I would give it all, I would sacrifice. And, this is very cheesy, but everything Jesus did, he did it for us. And giving us that command, living up to that command to love one another as he loved us, is really difficult. That gospel message is that God loves us so much he sent his only son. Love is, that love is massive and life-changing, brings us all together, heals, it restores, it's for everyone. Even people who are very different from us even and especially those we don't necessarily get on with. Jesus warns us greeting only those who we think of as, as one of us is dangerous and he reminds us we need to welcome everybody. And we can disagree about all kinds of things. A dog's better than cats. Oasis or blur. And more consequential things. But God's love casts out fear and the light that shines from God overcomes all darkness. Something we could have thought about a bit, and I think one of our activities at Messy Church later at All Saints will involve pumpkins, is, is Halloween. Um, we're obviously right at the start of October, Halloween's much later this month, but at All Hallows Eve, we remember not only that God is always with us, but all the saints who shone with God's love. So let's think ourselves how we can be a shining example to those around us. us collect together our thoughts of God and profess our faith by saying together we believe in God the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named we believe in God the Son who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love we believe in God the Holy Spirit who strengthens us with power from on high we believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now Anne's going to do our prayers and prayer activity with us. So we're going to be having a look at some hearts. So I'll need to move away from here in a minute. But I'll just sort of say what we're going to be doing. It is, I'm going to give you a piece of paper um, on here. And there is already a plaster okay i've also got some little plasters in here as well that you can add to your sheet the idea is we're going to try and think about what can god's light shine on in your life and the people around you so it could be um everybody generally speaking so families tend to not always but love each other your friends are usually people that you love it's the people that we find difficult could be the issue perhaps neighbours, perhaps that person that drives you mad, 
perhaps that, that niggly feeling, broken relationships, all those sorts of things. God asks us to love everyone, and it's really hard. So I'm sure you know that already. Um, but I'm going to give you the heart now, and I just wondered if you could write on it um, if you, uh, with the pen that you have already, but also if you want to stick a plaster on as, a, uh, as well to try and see if we can heal relationships. Ask God to do that. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. Or you can write in code if you wish. You can keep this by your bedside, or you can pop it by your um, on your fridge, or whatever you do usually. <laughs> Good things to remember. And um, it's up to you.
we round up then? Let's uh, round up what we've looked at. You've got your own sheet in front of you. And um, basically we want to pray over uh, the hearts that you have and so that and ask that God can shine his light on those situations, on those people, on those relationships for you. So, Lord of love, we thank you for your healing and inclusive love. We pray for all the situations and people we have placed on these hearts, knowing that you hear all of our prayers. Amen. Now we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So now we'll sing a closing song, which is My Jesus, My Saviour. <coughs> thinking about Jesus and love. Now, turns out Jesus is quite a big topic. So we're going to be back next month. Well, yes, we're going to be back next month for Jesus and grace. So looking at Jesus in a different way next month. Uh, notices wine tasting here soon. 25th. 25th. Excellent. Uh, and also, if for those of you at home, you can't take a flyer, but uh, we're starting our pilgrims course uh, here at St Mark's on Saturday the 12th from 10, 11, th between 10 and 11.30 on Saturday morning. So, 
Every sorry? Every second, every second Saturday. Saturday. So there we go. Second Saturday of the month, sorry. Every second Saturday of the month. Yeah, once a month. Once a month. Uh, <laughs> so for anyone here, please take a flyer. Uh, for anyone at home, look on our website and that'll give you all the details and we'll be correct and clear. <laughs> Marvellous. <laughs> Let's finish by saying together the prayer of St. Columba. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love that never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light, even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and our Redeemer. Amen.